Hello everybody, welcome back to Adventures Beyond Adversity. I know it's been a while, but... Uh, yeah, it's, you know. it's been a while. We've, well, Christmas, New Year. Things have been busy. And I wasn't feeling well, and this is probably the fourth or fifth time we've tried to make this video. We're trying <laughs> out new equipment. Yeah. That's how things go. But, so it's a new year. And there have been some big changes for the DAS Pass at Disneyland. And if you don't know, the DAS is the Disability Access Service. And uh, we wanted to tell you all about the new changes that have happened over the last few weeks. Um, so the DAS Pass basically is for people with disabilities that have a hard time waiting in the queues at Disneyland. It is not for people with physical disabilities like us that use a wheelchair or a um, scooter, um, that would basically be your pass. If you have a disability with a, you know, where you're using a scooter or a wheelchair, you would take that wheelchair scooter to the actual ride that you want to ride and they'll, you know, escort you there. They'll tell you more about what you need to do. So this is not for you. But if you have like a cognitive disability, if you have autism, if you have like a mental health disability, like anxiety, where this is, you know, if, if waiting in the normal queue is um, difficult for you, you're gonna wanna go to City Hall at Disneyland or Chamber of Commerce at California Adventure and you would sign up for the DAS there. Now, this brings us to one of the changes for the DAS with, uh, that has happened in the last few weeks. You no longer have to wait until you get to the park uh, to register at City Hall or Chamber of Commerce. You can register on the Disneyland app. So basically you're going to open the Disneyland app and you're going to go into the chat feature and tell them that you want to register for DAS. Now if you've used the chat feature on the Disneyland app for anything, you'll know that they do not get back to you immediately. It can take several hours. It can, hours. Be, can be 24 hours. Uh, they say that you can do this pre-registration anywhere from two to 30 days before your trip. Uh, if it was like two days before, I might be a little concerned that they may not get this interview done in time. Uh, but that's just me. I, I would want to play it safe and do it a little bit more towards that 30 day range just to make sure that somebody got back to me. Uh, so you're going to want to ask them uh, to t ask to talk to somebody about DAS. When they get back to you, you're going to do an, they're going to open a, a video chat and you're going to answer some questions about what your accommodation needs are. This interview from what we've heard can take like 45 minutes to an hour. Way too long than it needs to be. Yeah, longer than it takes if you actually do it at the park. Um, in, in our experience from what we've we've seen. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why exactly it's taking that long, but, but just be aware that it can take up to 45 minutes to an hour. Um, if you're unable to wait in that line at City Hall or Chamber of Commerce, this could be for you. Um, if you're somebody who has been planning this trip for a year, this is like your big trip to Disneyland, you know, and you want to make sure you have everything all lined up, you know, you may want you may want to do this in advance. If you've got kids that can't wait in this city hall or chamber of commerce line, you may want to do this in advance. Somebody that has a um, annual pass or magic key, I guess now, uh, who does a spontaneous trip can't and gets your reservation the day before wouldn't be able to necessarily do this because you have to at least, you know, do it two days in advance. So then you would still be able to go to City Hall or Chamber of Commerce to register at that point. So once you have completed this interview, they will preload two return times on your, uh, on, on the app for you. So that's kind of good because as soon as you get there, you can go to your first return time. And once you start returning, using your return times, you can start applying for new ones. And that brings me to the second change to the DAS. Uh, you no longer have to find the guest services umbrellas throughout the parks or go back to City Hall or Chamber of Commerce to get return times. You can register for them right there in the app. Once you're in the park, you'll see that there's a DAS icon that pops up in the app. 
and you can go in there and once you start using your return times you can apply for new ones right there so I think that that's great once you're standing in a line and you've checked in for one desk you can apply for a new one that that seems like that would really would cut it down some time that's the only thing I like about it so far <laughs> yeah I mean there, there seem to be a lot of um, a lot of things that that may cause some hindrances for people you know in, in my opinion because this comes to the next issue um, with the returning uh, you know basically the app allows you or the DAS pass allows you to wait outside the line it's not a front of the line pass you're waiting you're waiting sometimes 45 minutes an hour already you're just not doing it in the line because of whatever reason makes it difficult for you to wait in the line so you've waited and you go back to the queue you show them your return time and now because they've re they have uh, combined DAS with Lightning Lane, which is the replacement for FastPass. So in Sunrise, they are combining those two things to make one line, one return line. You could be waiting up to 30 to 40 minutes again in that line. So that kind of defeats the purpose of waiting outside of the line and having the DAS Pass saying that you have a hard time waiting in a queue because now you are having to wait with the Lightning Lane crowd that has been reported we've seen some uh, some people reporting that um around and um i don't think that that is going to be standard especially during off season at disneyland probably that won't happen as much but you know this what i what i was seeing was more like around christmas time um, i think during the busy periods during summer or christmas that that could probably be more of an issue mm -hmm. um, so i would just keep that in mind to prepare to wait um be waiting and waiting and waiting yeah <laughs> prepare for it um just <coughs> you know sorry that's okay <laughs> um so just be prepared to have to wait you know it, it may may work out but it's just always you know good to to along with everything else you're packing for disneyland pack your patience you know that's that's really important always pack your patience mm -hmm. i need to remember that myself hmm. so let's see i think that that's about it um, the DAS itself uh, and the pre-registration for it uh, will last 60 days or the length of your ticket. So, you know, however long your ticket is and until you've used that ticket up, um, th at that point your DAS is up and you would have to re-register the next time. Or if you haven't used it and 60 days have elapsed, then again your DAS pre-registration and your DAS pass have have expired and you would have to re-register and go through the whole thing all over again see i never knew that because i don't have to use the DAS right i think in the old days before it was DAS and it was like the guest assistance pass or whatever mm -hmm. system i had used it and it, it, it i knew it wasn't permanent but yeah so this it um it's 60 days you definitely do have to re-register um she's got notes yeah, I have notes because it's 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 there's a lot to keep track of. If any of you have any experiences with this, let us know. Um, and as we learn more, we will let you know what we find out. We'll we'll update um, with new information. But this is what we have so far. Mm -hmm. Please make sure um, to, uh, like I said, give us your feedback because we want to know what you are experiencing. Yeah, yeah, let us know. Yeah, you know, comment down below. Mm -hmm. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed for more um, content and remember adventure is out there <laughs>